What's up, YouTube family? All right, y'all know why we're here. It's because we had a suit of breeder, you know, and uh, her name is, what's this? Diana. Down Patterson. And uh, her her page go by One Dog Runs, mm -hmm. and she sell reds. So, yo, we had a sewer, and uh, y'all can follow that journey. At the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, follow that journey later on in the video. And, uh, yeah, we ain't saying nothing about a dog from her, but this is what she did to us. She reneged on her contract and then replaced <coughs> a puppy she was supposed to with one of her dogs. Uh, that we bought, one of the dogs we bought from her back legs start messing up. <coughs> Whoa, someone got my throat. I see. <laughs> <coughs> what do you think I said that? Um, no, like he said, you know, teach his own. We want everybody to be able to make their own decision, but I guess you got the good, the bad, and the <coughs> ugly. <laughs> That's my husband. That's what I'll be here. <laughs> yeah, something to the air. But you know, you got the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to dog breeding. So I think if anything, what we learn from this is what not to do. That's right. We will not put <laughs> nobody through this. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh, you know, anything else? It was just very frustrating. And I'm glad that it was <coughs> yes. over with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Well, kind of, sort of over with. Yeah, you know, now we got we to gotta collect, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but yeah, you know, we're going to show you the, the steps. Uh, what we did, uh, we filed the uh, the lawsuit probably like three, uh, almost two months ago. So when you when you watch the the, uh, the video, we're gonna show you the beginning to the end and everything. Uh, yeah, that's just what happened to us. It's messed up. <coughs> right now we out of six thousand dollars out of a puppy. Uh, our program is behind because. Uh, fancy, we've been ready to uh, breed right now and everything. So the only thing we want to tell y'all is beware. So And make contracts that protect you and the buyer and stick to your word. Oh yeah, because she did change her contract. Uh, after, after the fact. Matter of fact, I'll show y'all. If, if y'all go, if y'all go to her reviews, cause she give y'all this book, you know what I'm saying? with a contract, her contract in here. Yeah, here it is, and it's 12 of 12. Yeah, so go tell them, go show them what's... So the way that oh, number, the 12. number 12 reads is, the breeder gives a one year guarantee against any congenital defect of the puppy. If this should occur, that the puppy will be returned to the breeder and a buyer will receive another puppy of the same breed when there's one available. So you'll follow along to see it should have been simple as that. Yeah, but she changed that. So when y'all buy a puppy, this is what she changed 12 oh, to. Oh, now it says... Uh, you got to have life-threatening. Life-threatening congenital defect. How can you have a life-threatening genital de congenital defect? How can you do that? You know what I'm saying? Because the dog, we, a fancy, it wasn't life-threatening. You know what I'm saying? Her, her spine was just... But it didn't fuse or it was grunts together and just messing her legs up. It wasn't nothing life threatening about it. So beware of that in the contract because she changed it. And so she basically not giving you no security of buying a puppy uh, from her if something was to go wrong. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> but she just straight basically just kicked us to the curb. And excuse me, everybody, for my coughing. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 just got over sickness or still a little bit sick as you can see I'm still coughing. But anyway, it's not she 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 claims she go by she protect this contract is to protect her and the breeder. I mean uh her and the in the bar. And once you change that twelve you you're not protected. So if anything happened to your dog and she said if it ain't life threatening, you just out of luck. You know what I'm saying? Or unless you just been uh like us for certain other reasons, if you know what I mean. Right. You know what I'm saying? But we won't get into all that. Uh, I guess it just be how she how how she feeling at the time. Maybe uh how she'll react to you if anything happened to any puppies that you get from her. So but that's about it. So uh enjoy the video. Getting ready for court, y'all. On fancy B. Getting ready for 
for it. I think it says to fill this out with a black pen. You don't mess with boss lady. A boss man. Alright y'all, what's up? Like I said, we're going to expose, tell y'all what Diana Dow's One Dog Runs did to us. Today is our anniversary. Uh, today is June 14th. She made a post on Facebook. Let me show y'all of our dog that she out of the litter we supposed to be getting one of the girls from you know she posts on here uh that she got one of one or maybe two girls available you know it's just crazy but i liked it though check it out it's all good this is her page right here yep that's uh her contract that she uh changed as she changed her contract as when it happened when we was going through the whole situation she changed it but here she go right here eight week help pass fine colors she would post individual pitch in the next few days then she got uh two males and one or two females yep locking vision babies Yep, she posted eight hours eight hours ago. So yeah, this we must be getting a girl pup out this litter. You know what? You do wrong, you know what I'm saying? You get exposed. You know what I'm saying? We're exposing the truth. Alright y'all. Of course y'all know we got time, but this is some stuff we really don't be got time to do. But uh we gotta do what we gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when you come across a breeder that try to just rob you, you know what I'm saying? And just go against their contract, you can't let that pass, you know what I'm saying? So, they was this in your hand. What we got here? In the circuit court of, oh, hold on, the cover up yeah, all that. Yeah. In the circuit court of Jackson County, Missouri, small claims court. Yeah small claims court we got all evidence in there that we need you know what i'm saying to get to move this case forward so we're about to head down there to downtown courthouse turn in these papers uh so we can get her served to go to court you know what i'm saying uh this could have been done over easily if somebody just would have stood by the contract but you know it's just sad that somebody just feel like they can just get over on you, you know what I'm saying? But you know, nowadays, you know, you can't just go busting people in the head and stuff. So you just got you got to go to court. That's all we can do, and let the court judge. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna keep y'all uh, updated on on what's going on here. You know what I'm saying? Whether we win this case or lose this case, but you know what I'm saying? We got all the evidence. She reneged on her contract, so we're pretty uh, nine times out of ten, we should win this case. But you never know. So I'll let you in the next scene. Yeah, y'all, I'm back. We heading down to the courthouse. Anything I say, my love? But this stuff is crazy. I know. No, what I was just saying about going back and forth, but I don't, I don't know. That last time we was texting back and forth, she just threw my energy off. Yes. I was so bothered like all day. Yeah, I mean. I don't want to try to be courteous and reach out again. Yeah, cause we, I mean, yeah, we was thinking about like before we go down here, drop this paper off. Do you want to replace the dog like you're supposed to? But I mean, it's so many times she just, uh, just, just turned straight up negative and just like not like attacking us, but, not like yeah. the physical, but words, of well, yeah, course, and you know, yeah. our character and how we are. And I mean, I literally have text messages with this lady talking about how we family and we love each other, and she just flipped out. Yeah, then she since we had a litter that passed, she talked, she called us irresponsible breeders and all kinds of stuff. It was just like, man, this stuff is crazy. But she fell for us when the litter passed, right? But then when you try to challenge stuff with her, then it's just a completely other person. So I guess if I can say breeders out here, don't don't think that you're too you're so close in a good relationship with other breeders because some so, people change up. Definitely. Let me tell you, like she, 
But she gonna had a nerve to say that we learn from a situation. I forgot what part she was talking about. Oh yeah, it was something. She was like lesson learned because of what she's. Like. She changed her contract because of this, and I guess she's saying she should have took the dog back because she didn't take the dog back. And she was like lesson learned. Hopefully, you guys can learn from this going if it ha when it happens to you. I'm like first of all. We're gonna like, learn not to be like you. <laughs> period. You know what I'm saying? We had never put nobody through this. And you know, where I'm from, man, you know, you don't you don't you don't when you take six thousand dollars from somebody and say and like and say you don't give it back, man, we, we, we usually don't that type of stuff we don't let that type of stuff pass. You know what I'm saying? So And when you say that you're gonna do something, just do it. Do it. Yeah. Like it's your word, it's your integrity, it's on your name, just do it. Yeah, like I said, like, uh, she, you know, we're going to expose her for what she did to us. You know what I'm saying? What she did to us, we're going to expose her. So that's that's all we can do. You know what I'm saying? So. And, you know, the crazy thing is this, this whole situation, like, I never got out of character. I remained professional. I said, I didn't want to mess up our relationship. I mean, all that. And she was like, there's no relationship. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. And all this happened today. My wife uh, reached out to her to, to meet up to get the dog. Cause I mean, she just she completely she probably she probably was just blowing smoke out smoke smoke up our ass the whole time. Cause one litter that she had her first litter, the puppies died. So she we was like, all right, the next litter, which it was right around the corner. So as soon as it was time for uh, we were trying to reach out to her so we could pick our puppy that we wanted. You know, we told her we wanted the smallest one, the smallest girl, and uh. She's like okay, but she never called us and uh, let us know when to pick. So we was like, all right, well, she said this is the day we could pick it up. And that's the thing. my wife. Uh, when that day was coming, she was like, where can we be? And then everything just hit the fan. She already knew she wasn't gonna give us the dog, so she started attacking us and all that type of stuff. Man. Yeah, when I say it was like a Doctor Jekyll, Mrs Hyde type of thing, <laughs> it was the. Like, I busted, and he was asleep, and I busted in the room, like, oh, my God, this lady's crazy. <laughs> like, I don't know what just snapped, but that's literally how the situation was. It was just a text, hey, we had just got back in town, like, that night at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. And I was like, let me just get this out the way, because we were supposed to set up to get the dog this weekend, Father's Day weekend. Yeah, yep. And uh, I was just finalizing stuff, and it just it went completely fair. south. Like, oh. Wow. Yep. And uh yeah, man, it's like I'm real angry, you know what I'm saying? But you know, uh you know, this is the stuff that you go through, you know. So any other breeders make sure you know you, you, you get all your receipts, make sure the contract is, is And make sure your clear. contracts are clear. Whatever and, you say, be clear and if it's a gray area then just make sure whatever you gotta do, you just gotta stand on your word and do it. And then it's kinda crazy, so and she, when we said we was gonna go to court, she said, "Well, yeah, we're gonna go to court then and let the court decide what to do." And we, you know, we uh, gonna sue her for our money back. And she said, "If we win, she gonna give us a pup." Like, no, we don't want a pup. We want and our money not back. For you to and, decide. and it's not for you. It's not for you to decide. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, she, she it's, it's it's sad. But you know, now we we gonna do. We, I do go through the courts and everything, and, and, and like I said, the main thing I want to do, like, like right now, like my wife wanted to say, forget it, you know what I'm saying, I don't even want to deal with this lady and just call it the loss, but you know, at the same at the same time, I don't trip off of people, I'm good by people, you know what I'm saying, but right now, this is, it's, it's about the principle, you know what I'm saying, it's the principle, you know what I'm saying, you just don't do nobody like that, you know what I'm saying, plus this is our second dog from you, you know what I'm saying, and then, you know, the other thing is, she, I mean, she, we got all the evidence in text messages. Everything a conversation was all through text messages with her number on there. With her number where? Uh, that's on her same business page on Facebook. And she, she act like going to court that she just knows she's going to win. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I'm a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to text messages. We, had, we got text messages all the way when we got our first dogs. And we know we're going to print all that off. We're showing with her number, her name. Got her contract. She signs her contract, her old contract, before she uh, changed, she changed it. it. I missed my spot. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, she changed it. But we got her old one. We got two copies of her old ones that she signed. When we got the first dog and the second dog. And we got in a text message where when this happened, she even admitted in the text message that she changed her contract. 
So, hey, y'all, this is going to be good. So, uh, 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 holla, uh, follow, come with us, follow our journey on this. And, uh, like I said, we want to do, we're supposed to be starting our anniversary weekend, and we got started off at the courthouse. So, the thing is, yeah, the, it's the principal, and she gonna get exposed because she gonna get the, the, y'all, this is the honest truth review. And y'all could gonna be able to watch it on YouTube. Anybody decide to buy a dog for it, because I'm putting the link to this video in her, uh, in her review box. It's going down. It's all about that review, and it's gonna be a visual, visible, <laughs> a visible one. Y'all gonna be able to see it. You know what I'm saying? So, it, get a dog. Everything was all good until we got her dog got sick, and she ain't want to replace it. So, uh, get a dog from her. Get a dog from her. At your, at your own risk. This is a warning in which I see what's going on, what we're going through. So, holla. <laughs> all right y'all that only took uh all of 10 minutes and uh oh, no, we paid for an hour a I feel like we need to go walk around a couple of times to get our money <laughs> parking beer. yeah so now it's a it's a, a waiting game you know what i'm saying hopefully she can have this by a uh, week to get served so uh we'll keep y'all updated you know through our journey of hell that she put us through <laughs> All right, see y'all. All right, y'all. I'm back about this the uh, breach of contract. We got this in the mail today. You know, we got a court date for the lawsuit. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got a court date. You know what I'm saying? With the court date. Let me see. What's that? I think, it's, I think it's in the back. I ain't trying to show. I don't know, want to show no paperwork on here. All right, there are court dates, y'all. Right there. September 7th, 2022. One o'clock. You know what I'm saying? You can see right there, Marquis. You know what I'm saying? Williams. Us. Party. Dallas. Diana. Small claims here. Got the judge. Bam. So, y'all see that? Y'all see that? It's going down, you know? It's going down. Like I said, I'm gonna let y'all uh, see this journey. I'm gonna put this in her review so y'all can see for y'all self, you know? So y'all can see the truth. See the truth of what she did to us. I'll let you on the next scene. All right, y'all. We just came from court. Uh, of course, we won our case. But the other thing, you know what I'm saying? She didn't even come. And she got her served. She was served with the papers. And let me tell you this. Diana stays in Kansas. It's two hours away. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Her son also stayed right in North Kansas City. That's like 35 minutes away from where we stayed. So, just show us the paper. Show us to pull that paper out. Oh, yeah. Uh, make sure you ain't got no private information on here. Okay, nope, you don't. Boo, yeah. Yeah, so we won. So that's our stamp, and this is the total awarded. Yes, this sir. is the judge name. And her name, right there, against my wife's name. Yeah. So 